But look, that going, man. Look how low. Look, look. Look how short they are. Look at that. And look how low they are. I know. There's, 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 there's your ground gra levels right here. Yes, it? look where the. It's on the ground. <laughs> Beck's Practical Farm Research is here to help you turn your products and practices into profit. You've got questions, we've got answers. This is Ask PFR. Hey, so we've got, got the question. In fact, I just got a, uh, a text from a guy over in Lebanon today who was saying, all right, my, uh, my beans, my late planted beans, um, and he said they were shorter right and they were flowering already which surprised him and then that reminded me of the question we got on ask pfr about hey with all my late planted soybeans is there anything i need to do differently as it relates to them is there anything i can do to manage those yields part of it's we need to define what late planting soybeans is yep so um i mean what's your take on on what's late what do you consider well it's true planting? and it depends on where you're at right but i guess for most people around here they're going to say once we start getting past the middle of May. We do have some data. We've got a lot of data actually on that. Is it multi-year or? Yes. So uh, at our Indiana site, we've done planning date studies for 19 years. You know, what we consider to be late, I guess here would be um, that middle of May on <clears throat> is kind of what we consider to be later planted soybeans. And um, according to our data, I mean, you can see it here. Um, there's not a big difference until you start getting past that you know, that May 15th window, and then it does start, your potential starts to drop. So that's, you know, that's the question these guys are having is, you know, how, how are my yields going to be when I'm planting this late, um, you know, and, and what can we do to, to maybe bring them back up? So yeah. um, we don't have a lot of research on, you know, late planted soybeans on what you can do right. specifically, but we do have some <clears> things <throat> we can cover. Um, but yeah, that, that middle, of, middle of May and on, your potential starts to drop pretty quick. You can still raise high yielding soybeans. Last year we raised 77 bushel soybeans on June 7th and 78 bushel on June 1st. So why don't you, uh, you all come with us. We're gonna walk out to our PFR plots here in Atlanta and we'll just take a peek at some of the things we're seeing and maybe have a discussion about what we're seeing and then how we can mitigate stress, right? To uh, maybe lessen the odds of that yield reduction from delayed planting. So I'm gonna go do that. Look how short they are. Look at that. And look how low they are. I know. There's, 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 there's your, there's, your ground I levels right here. Yes, it? look where the... It's on the ground. So, let's see here. First trifoliate. So, what's roughly do we know? Is this like a mid-April? I want to say 16th of April. 16th have, of April. I'd have to confirm that. So, here we are that's two months out of planting and we got a foot tall plant. We've got some beans we in this planting day study we haven't even planted yet that we're still going to plant. So we'll have beans that are flowering before we've even done some of the planting date. Kind of the same story with this later planted soybean here. This was roughly a month behind uh, that first one we looked at and you still have the real short internode spacing and that's because of the cool wet weather that we had there early in this plant's life. So as we get up here, you can see how they're starting to get a little longer with the warmer more favorable temperatures we've had recently. So, same soybean, different planting date. These are indeterminate soybeans. So yep. They'll continue to grow yep. vegetative wise yep. even after flowering is initiated. Absolutely. So. Thank goodness, huh? Right. <laughs> I just like that to be a determinate variety. Right. Pass. Yep. So, here's our later planting date. We're standing in it, right? And we, we can't do anything about population to row with right now. What do I need to do to reduce the odds of that yield penalty? Foliar nutrition. Yep micronutrient in particular. Uh, we talked about the cytokine. So We've got two, two years, two of, years of good data. data. Years of data. We need so one it's more year foliar data. excito, it's a cytokine. Yep. If, we're, if, if I say that yield comes from, again, plants per acre, right? Nodes per plant, pods per node, beans per pod, and size of the bean, right? So this dude right here is already behind the eight ball. How many nodes of, how many nodes of eight? So we've got with this guy, We've got to do everything we can because this has eight nodes with flowers and I'm going to be setting pods. Right. This guy has no nodes flowering right now. This one can afford to abort more. Yep. Than what that one can. Yeah. And you're not going to catch up. Nope. But can no. we can we do a better job of managing We're, flower retention? Exactly. And can we reduce? 
are there things we can do to reduce the impact of that late planting? Because it's already, it's behind the eight ball, right? It really comes back to don't don't steer away from the plan. Yeah. You know, just because you got later planted soybeans really doesn't mean, okay, well, let's just leave them alone and we'll you put herbicide and walk away. It doesn't, yeah, yeah. You're, you're still no got words. a chance for good yielding soy, high yielding soybeans even. And you, what did you say we got 77 bushel last 77 year? 77 bushel soybeans. That's planted, high yielding soybeans. Planted when? June. So June. June 1st, June 7th was all right around that mid-70s. So we're talking about, so late planted, right? Here's the baseline. We're talking about it starts to peel off. Yep. And what we're saying is don't don't accept this necessarily mm -hmm. because maybe there's things we can do to close the gap. Yep. We can do that by mitigating stress, protecting the plant health, and doing everything we can to maximize flower retention and pod set. Hey everybody, that's it for this edition of Ask PFRM. Jim Schwartz along with Jason Gayheimer and Travis Burnett here at our Atlanta office. Don't forget to like and subscribe or comment below using the hashtag AskPFR. Thanks for joining us everybody. Have a great day.